the Virginia General Assembly in 2003 passed a resolution encouraging VDOT to construct more roundabouts instead of signalized intersections. Therefore, it is VDOT policy that roundabouts be considered when a project includes reconstructing or constructing new intersections. When the analysis shows that a roundabout is a feasible alternative, it should be considered the department's preferred alternative due to the proven substantial safety and operational benefits. In 2010, this intersection in Chesterfield County was improved to add the fourth leg to access a new high school. It remained an unsignalized four-leg intersection. Police officers were used to direct traffic in the morning and afternoon due to the additional buses going to and from the high school. This modern single-lane roundabout in Chesterfield County was open to traffic in 2011. The average traffic using the intersection in 2008 was 12,400 vehicles per day. The average traffic in 2030 is projected to be 17,700 vehicles per day. Previously, this was an unsignalized four-leg intersection. A roundabout was selected as the intersection alternative due to increased safety and efficiency. This roundabout reduces the delay due to left-turning vehicles and the high volume of school buses from the middle school and high school. This video demonstrates that roundabouts can be designed to successfully accommodate school buses and fire trucks as well as pedestrians. This is a drive-through of the roundabout. This modern single-lane roundabout in Prince George County opened to traffic in 2010. The average daily traffic using the intersection was about 12,000 vehicles per day, with 4% heavy trucks, mostly 18-wheel logging trucks. The average daily traffic in 2031 is projected to be almost 20,000 vehicles per day. The previous configuration of the intersection was a signalized Y intersection. A roundabout was selected as the intersection alternative due to increased safety and efficiency. This roundabout reduces the delay due to the high number of left-turning vehicles. This video demonstrates that roundabouts can be designed to successfully accommodate 18-wheel tractor trailers. This is a drive-through of the roundabout. This series of three modern single-lane roundabouts located along Route 106 in New Kent County were open to traffic in 2008. At that time, the average daily traffic using these intersections was 2,100 vehicles per day. The average daily traffic in 2030 is projected to be approximately 25,000 vehicles per day. The previous configuration of the intersection of Routes 249 106 and 609 was an unsignalized four-leg intersection. The developer of the Farms of New Kent chose to construct roundabouts at these three intersections due to the safety, operational, and economic benefits. This is a drive-through of the three roundabouts on Route 106.